Well, would you believe it, guys? I went out the workshop, she was twiddling around inside, and I thought, maybe in a couple of hours, and you wouldn't believe it, she did it exactly within 15 seconds of me being out the workshop. <laughs> Unreal. Well, there you go, I nearly caught the behaviour of shedding. Look at that, she's just come out looking still very very limp and now she's going to just lay down and let those fluids fill up again and she'll become a little bit stronger as you can see down in her abdomen area there whoop here we go right side up brand new skin the old one in the background there which we're going to leave in for her to uh, to eat Beautiful big long antenna, and if I'd have left her in with the uh, with the other guys, they would have made short work of her because, as you can see, she can barely hold her own weight up at the moment. She's a big girl. That tank's a foot long, and there you go, fully stretched out her tail. She's a foot long. Amazing process. Yep, couldn't believe that, guys. I was setting up the tripod, and before I knew it, she just popped herself out of that old shell. And now we have a brand new little Australian red claw female. Brand new shell, look at that. And now that's obviously going to give her time now to expand and grow even more. So um, when they get to this kind of size, they may only shed once, maybe twice a year. So I'll have to wait for another year now. But I got quite close. Just a shame I didn't actually catch her coming out. Whee! Absolutely stunning, look at that. Now if I'd have waited another day, I could have edited it all together and you'd have had a partial malt on the on the last video. It's an amazing process, it really is, when you think everything grows inside that shell. And um, and they just cast off their new one. If, if, if only we could do the same, guys, eh? As we get older, climb out your old skin and you're all brand new underneath again. How about that? And it's unusual to get them visually to molt at this size because when they get bigger it's a lot more effort involved than when they're smaller when they're smaller they shed many times in a year and it happens very very quickly but she's been at this now for about three days from the last footage where you saw her going backwards and forwards in the hyperlapse footage and um, and she's finally broken out of her old shell Well, I think I'll leave you with a little bit of hyperlapse footage now of her getting herself back up to speed, slowly hardening up, getting back on her feet, and getting back to normal. guys it wasn't the uh, result I was after but we've got her shed she's out she's still healthy brand new looking 
and she's a little star. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching that little bit of hyperlapse. And as always, you're all stars. Look after yourselves. Take care. And I'll see you on the next episode of Mark's Aquatics. Bye for now. Just me and my guitar.